In question 13, we're given a fact family, and we're asked to determine which of these number sentences would represent the missing member of the family. Well, the first thing to notice is that fact families involve the relationship between three numbers, and in this case, they're always the same three numbers. So let's put them over here. We have the number 26, we have the number 7, and we have the number 19. Well, let's look at the relationship between these numbers. If I took 7 and added 19, I'm going to end up with 26. And if I took 26 minus 7, I'm going to add and end up with 19. And if I took 26 minus 19, I'll end up with 7. Well, let's look at all the ways we can go around this kind of circle this way and this way. So if I got 26 minus 7, I'm going to end up with 19. So that's that um, number sentence there. If I took 7 plus 19, I'm going to end up with 26. So that's that number sentence there. If I went this way, 19 plus 7, that would equal that number there. So that's that number sentence there. So which one are we missing? Well, again, if I go 26 minus 19, it's going to equal the 7. That looks like the number sentence that we are missing here. So 26 minus 19 will equal 7. All right, let's look at our options here. And we can see that, indeed, option 2 is the right answer. And actually, we could tell right away because it's the only one of these that has the same three numbers as what we're showing in the fact family.